Hey everybody, welcome to Insta and Ollie series and in this video I'll be talking about the lapping of the bars. Alright, so uh, let's take uh, a grid of the columns and the beams. So these are the columns and uh, let me draw the beams, right? Okay, so uh, let's assume that uh, these three beams are same. Uh, for example, if we draw this section, right? So suppose that you got 16 mm diameter bars uh, for in numbers, right? So they are 16 phi bars, right? Okay, alright, so uh, what happens is that in this situation when all the bars are same or the same reinforcement goes into the other bars, so you don't have a separate bar for this beam, this beam or this beam, right? I mean that you don't just do like this and again begin from here up to here and so you don't do that. So what you do is, so you just put your bar into the column, so that is for the development length and after that what you do, you just go like this right so let us assume that uh, this span is 5 meter this span is 6 meter and this span is 5 meter so the twirl from here up to here it's 6 plus 5 11 plus 5 that is 16 meters right okay so the standard size of a bar uh, that comes from the factory is 12 meters right 12 meters but the total span here is 16 meters so in that case what happens is you have to begin your bar from here right so ld and development length and after that uh, what do you do you just keep on going so uh, you 6 plus 5 11 so you reach somewhere here like right so after that what you do you take another bar and lap here and you just go into the other column as a development length right so this uh, reason is known as the lapping reason so the lapping reason and uh, so this bonding between these two bars is known as the lap all right okay so uh, what if you are going uh, like this right so you're going like this and uh, so your bar gets terminated here so it happens uh, so let's assume that this is seven meters right so your bar might get terminated somewhere here so if it's uh, so it's gone right okay so in that case uh, in that case what you have to do is you have to cut something like uh, two feet from the face of the column so you have to cut two feet from the face of the column this bar and you have to get your other bar and and you have to get your other bar and you have to lap it like this it's because you cannot have this lap at the beam column junction all right so otherwise it will make the joint very weak right so if it is the top bar so you have to make the lap at this mid portion right so if this is your beam if this is your beam and right so you have to make this lap at this position all right okay so at the mid position and if it's the bottom bar you have to make your lap so let us assume that these are the columns right so you have to make your lap leaving two feet from the column all right and the lapping length it depends upon the grid of the concrete that you're using and the grid of the steel that you're using right so it normally varies from 55 to uh, 65 right so where 5 is the diameter of the bar okay so uh, this is the short video on lapping of the bars hope this video was helpful thank you for watching take care